So this video is brought out of a comment that we received on our daily UFD team stream live streams where they commented on the fact that we should check out whether or not Nvidia has been gimping performance with the old series cards from the 399 drivers that were out right before the RTX 20 series launched and now with the RTX 20 series drivers that are currently out which is the 411 version. And surprisingly, we just kind of briefly tested the 1080 Ti to see if there is any merit to it. And holy crap, there is. So now we have Tank working on a 1070 Ti and we'll also be doing a 1060 to find out how much of a difference is being made, what games is it affecting and what's going to happen. And we'll talk about the results in just a second after I let you know that today's video is brought to you by betterhelp.com forward slash UFD. If you need counseling, either for the fact that Nvidia is screwing you over or you're a normal human and you actually wanna take care of your mental health, BetterHelp is there for you. With professional, affordable online counseling that can meet anytime in your schedule and the fact that you can get paired with a counselor in less than 24 hours from the time you sign up, it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. With plans for counselors starting at 35 to $65 per week and then you get unlimited counseling with that, there's no reason not to sign up if you're looking for a counselor that can meet you during your times. I know that we use BetterHelp to meet with somebody at night here in South Africa because it's really difficult for us to find time during a work day. It works out really well for us. So if you're over 18, head to betterhelp.com forward slash UFD to get started with affordable professional online counseling today. And the NVIDIA thing was a joke, but I take mental health very seriously. So just let's saying, let's get into the actual topic after Tank finishes the benchmark. So I'll come back to you in a second. Ha ha, this is what happens when you take a day to benchmark. NVIDIA releases new drivers on you. So all of your test results from yesterday are invalidated, but not, not necessarily so. So there's still some interesting data that we actually learned if Tank would get out of the seat so I can let people know what's going on. So we have a 1080 Ti in the test bench that we tested. As I mentioned, we also tested with a 1060 as well as a 1070 Ti, both from Pallet. It's kind of weird that the 1060 looks more. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. We have data now about how the cards perform on the new drivers from Nvidia. And it did appear that there was definite gimping on at least the 1080 Ti with the first drivers that Nvidia released for the RTX series cards. So if you take a look at the numbers that are currently on your screen, we see in Ashes of the Singularity, this is one of the most egregious. We went from 98 FPS average on the old drivers to 92 on the current ones. And especially with 1% and 0.1% lows, there were also drops. Metro Exodus also saw a two FPS decrease. Deus Ex Mankind Divided saw a one FPS decrease. Coincidentally, and by coincidence, I mean strange happenings, and I don't know why this actually occurred. Every single Ubisoft game we have did the exact same, but every non-Ubisoft game that we had did worse on the new drivers. What does that mean? I couldn't tell you. Apparently Ubisoft's doing something. Wildlands is an Nvidia game, and then Far Cry 5 is an AMD game, and Assassin's Creed Origins is also an AMD game, but they all, they all, all three of those games that are on Uplay did the exact same with these, these drivers. But then if we look at Rise of the Tomb Raider, we see we lose two FPS on the new drivers. Final Fantasy 15, we lose two FPS. Middle Earth, Shadow of War, exact same. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we lost three FPS. And then Hitman, it was the exact same as well there. So that's the 4K results. We tested the 1080 Ti at 4K. At 1440p, we tested the 1070 Ti. And if you look on the screen, basically every single game was the same, which you would, you would think then, oh, there is no gimping going on because a different card at a different resolution saw nothing different. The 1060, on the other hand, 1080p gaming we did with that. Ashes and Singularity, again, lower FPS by two. Metro Last Light, four FPS lower at 1080p on the new drivers. Deus Ex Mankind Divided, we lost one FPS. Far Cry 5, it was one slower in the old driver. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, it's the exact same. Final Fantasy 15, it's one slower in the, with the new driver. Middle Earth Shadow of War is one slower with the new driver. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is one FPS slower with the new driver. Assassin's Creed Origins is two FPS slower. And Ghost Recon Wildlands is one FPS faster. And Hitman is also one FPS faster. So with the GTX 1060, it was a toss up. There are some games where the new drivers actually performed worse. With the GTX 1080 Ti, it was all of them except for the Ubisoft games in Hitman. With the the 1070 Ti, not a single one did any worse whatsoever. 
However, as I just mentioned, new drivers came out from NVIDIA in between when we started all of these testings and when we finished them this morning. And those are the drivers to update both for Forza Horizon 4 as well as Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Why do they both start with O? I hate that so much. And then also it fixed some power management issues on the RTX 20 series cards. However, in all of the details of what the drivers are supposed to fix, there's no mention of any sort of performance bug that would have happened with the 1080 Ti or with the 1060. However, we decided to test the 1080 Ti again with the new new drivers, which would be 411.70 as opposed to 411.63. And what we find is that all of the performance went back up. So in this ashes of the singularity, we have 97 FPS with the drivers that came out today and 92 FPS with the drivers that came out with the RTX cards. So it went back up by five FPS, but still not the 98. Metro Last Light again went up two FPS. Deus Ex back up to where it was. Far Cry 5, same place. Rise of the Tomb Raider, exact same place. Final Fantasy 15, ditto. Middle Earth Shadow of War, ditto. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, however, had its worst showing so far, coming in at 58 FPS, which is four lower with the original drivers on 399.24, and even one FPS lower than 411.63. So that's an outlier there. Assassin's Creed Origins, the exact same. Wildlands, exact same. And Hitman, the exact same. So is NVIDIA gimping performance? It appeared that there was some sort of bug. There, there was actual evidence that there was gimping, but it, it probably was just something with the 411 drivers that just wasn't quite ready for the 10 series, and they've already fixed it with the 411.70, except for that Shadow of the Tomb Raider result. However, I would say that's neither here nor there. This does bring up the interesting discussion of whether or not NVIDIA does gimp their cards over the long term. So we'll have to maybe do a deeper dive on older series cards such as the 780 Ti and see how it performs with drivers about when the 980 Ti launched to where it is now. And we can tell from that. But as it stands right now, it doesn't look like NVIDIA is actually dropping the performance on the 10 series cards. There is the argument, well, they'll do it when you're least expecting it. Obviously, they wouldn't do it right at launch, even though there was some evidence that they were doing it at launch. It has already been dealt with by NVIDIA and their driver updates. So that's the conclusion. The, the results were much more interesting yesterday without this new driver update. And so the video just kind of had to go on anyways. The conclusion is a bit different because we were going to say NVIDIA is gimping at 4K, but now they're not and there you have it. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I suppose. Okay, friends, we're gonna wrap it up there. Be sure to let us know what kind of testing you want us to do with cards going forward. The RTX 2080 Ti is obviously in our hands. What would you like us to do with this thing that maybe other tech YouTubers haven't because we're definitely listening. We don't wanna put out redundant content that you've already seen on channels that are much bigger than ours. So let us know. What are you keen to see that other channels may not be covering? Because We'll, we'll be listening to you. Be sure to hit the like button. If you enjoyed this video, please get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. Don't forget that this video was brought to you by BetterHelp.com. If you're looking for affordable, professional online counseling by licensed therapists, check out BetterHelp.com forward slash UFD. Link for that will be in the video description. Get your mental health taken care of. It's something that we can't recommend enough. Anyways, that's it. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see your smiling faces in the next video. Love you too. Bye. Tank, do you want your seat back? Do you want your seat back? Do you want your seat back? Do you just want to play with that MacBook?